Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you the difference between turning on your clean energy and turning off your clean energy when charging your iPhone 16 Pro with your Apple dual USB-C port 35 watt compact power adapter as seen here. So I'm going to be showing you guys a video. The 16 Pro will be charged with clean energy on and with clean energy off. I hope you enjoy. So it's starting. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh, one minute and then the screen just popped up and begin. All right, let's start. So last time it took about a minute or so. Okay, so then we see the red battery signal already. Let's see how long it takes to get to the, the Apple icon pop-up. Five watts, I believe, for the iPhone 16 Pro. And um, there we go. So 30 seconds, a little over 30 seconds, and we have the Apple icon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to uh, clean energy, and then we're gonna change that setting. So hopefully, it will only take 30 minutes to get to that 65. Let me put in my password real fast. Okay. Go to the battery settings now. I'm going battery. Then I'm gonna go down uh, charging. I'm gonna go to charging. And then we're gonna turn off clean energy charging. All right, turn off until tomorrow we'll say. And now we should be good to go. Let's see how long it takes. All right, some of you might be asking, what is clean energy? So clean energy charging is an iPhone feature that charges your phone during times when cleaner energy is being produced. How it works? Clean energy charging uses a carbon emissions forecast for your area to charge your phone when, you're, when cleaner energy is available. It also learns your charging habits to prioritize charging when you're at home or work and when you charge your phone for long periods of time. So it's a new feature. It's uh, on by default in the US. Uh, it does slow your charging down. So when you turn it off, it actually uh, makes your phone charge faster. All right, we're about 11 minutes in. Let's see where we're at as far as battery percentage. 22%, not bad. It's a lot faster than last time. All right, we're at 25 minutes. Let's see how much, it's 31% charged now. All right, we're back at almost 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and check, check out what the percentage is, 40%. With five minutes left, I doubt it will get to 65%. All right, I'm going to wait until 30 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and push it down. All right, ready, set, 30 minutes, and we are at only 49%. Apple lied! Apple lied! Someone tell Apple they're lying! All right, so we're about 36 minutes. Let's see, we're at 48% charge, so almost 50%. All right, we're at 48 minutes, and we finally reached 65% charged. All right, guys, we're at 65% finally and at 41 minutes. After 42 minutes, it's only at 59%. Guys, we're coming up at a minute. Now we're in 10 minutes. So let's see where we're at. Mobile device not found. 87%. Sorry. All right, as you guys can see, we're over an hour, hour and five minutes and barely at 80% charged. 87%. One hour and 10 minutes. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, we're getting close to an hour and 30 minutes and we're at 96%. All right, guys, we're back for the finale. We're at 99%. An hour and 42 minutes. Let's go ahead and see when it turns 100%. All right, guys, we're just to pass uh, an hour and 30 minutes. And we are at 95% charged now. So it's one hour and 45 minutes and 100% charged. Obviously, we're going to be off some seconds here and there. It's not going to be exact, but just to make a point. All right, guys, we're at minute 46 and at 99% charged. As you, once again, this is the dual USB-C port, 35 watt compact power adapter. Dual because you can plug two things in. Two iPhones, MacBook Air, AirPods, and wait. <sighs> oh, 100%, 100%. 
Well, there we have it, guys. As you can see, by turning clean energy off, it does make the charging a little bit faster, but not by much. I noticed that in the beginning, so the first like 20 minutes, if you have it off, then it does actually charge a little bit more. But in the grand scheme of things, you're only talking about a difference of about five minutes. I think in my case, it was closer to seven minutes uh, with the clean energy off, but my measurement was not precise. You know, like my margin of error is probably off a minute or even two. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, now you know the difference between turning clean energy on and off when charging. If this video has helped, please consider liking or subscribing. It would really help us a lot. Appreciate it. See you next time for some more cool iPhone 16 Pro videos. Bye-bye!